Hey guys, I'm Jess, and today I'm gonna do a video about alcohol inks on glass. Okay, I'm a beginner at this. I'm not gonna say I'm like a pro or anything. I just got them a little while ago. I was experimenting on glass like this. I put this on makeup brush holder, and I thought it'd be really cute. It's a Beauty and the Beast design, and I wanted to make it look stained glass. So I was like, alcohol ink, yes. So I went through all the internet trying to find how to seal this. And I found a whole lot of different answers. None of them were very like clear or descript. So I tested my own stuff out. First, everyone was saying just spray it with the Krylon um, triple thick crystal clear glaze. So that's what I did first. And this is what the glass looks like. It's super foggy looking. I don't know if you can actually see that. See how foggy it is? And it put a weird texture on the whole glass and I don't like it at all. I don't know what happened, but I don't know if you can see the texture. Can you see it kind of on there, right? The colors look okay. Like it didn't damage the colors. It just made this whole glass like super foggy and have a stupid texture on it, which I hate. So I was like, that didn't work. Next. <laughs> So next I was like, oh, I'm gonna try putting on the Krylon UV resistant clear glossy one. And you guys, it messed up the colors so much. It made it very, I don't know, spotty looking. Can you see that? I hope it's coming through on the camera, but it definitely diminished the colors in that actual design and this is when i got smart and i was like i'm gonna put a bag kind of around it and tape it off with painter's tape around the design in order to spray paint it so i'm not having this situation happen again so i did that i was actually um you know learning as i was going then i saw somewhere online that you should use the krylon i don't know how to say that krylon um kumar Kumar, Kumar, varnish, this one, the varnish one. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna give that a go. <laughs> so this is actually a different design, but that worked the best. And then I also, I put three coats of that on here. And then I put the UV resistant clear on top. And I feel like, I don't know, it kind of dulled the colors a little bit. I wish I wouldn't have done that, but I know if you don't put that, it can, the colors can just fade really badly, but ugh, it is still pretty vibrant, I will say. I wonder if I can, can you see it better now? That's probably better. I have something thick behind it, but that is what I did. I hope this helps you guys out because I know I looked all over the internet. I looked all over YouTube. I looked also on Facebook, like, pages i joined a few alcohol ink facebook pages and still on there they had very mixed reviews of what to do so they said that this is supposed to seal it in and it's acid free um free from impurities keeps it fresh from the pout look all that non-yellowing stuff and then this is supposed to obviously keep it from being um kind of bleached out by the sun but I'm also just gonna tell my people like, don't put it in direct sunlight, whoever purchases it, so that it's not bleached out very quickly. But that's pretty much my findings. I hope this helped you guys out. I know I had so much trouble, but definitely this combo has been the best. So I did three coats of this, two or three coats of this, I can't quite remember. I didn't use this at all. People are saying to finish it with this, but I absolutely hate the texture. So I was like, I'm not even gonna go there because I knew I already hated the texture from this. I was like, this texture is not acceptable <laughs> in my eyes anyways. So yeah, if you guys don't mind a texture being applied to your art, then go for it. And it also may react differently on paper or anything else, but on the glass is just a no-go. So I hope you guys liked this video. I hope it was helpful to you. If it was, um, leave me a comment down below or give this video a big thumbs up. While you're down there, hit that notification bell so you're notified every single time I upload a new video. You can find me here on social media and post a lot of different artworks that I'm doing right now. And click that button down below, subscribe. Bye guys, thanks for watching.